Hey guys, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are going to be reviewing the Ray-Ban RB4340s. Now these sunglasses are also known as the Ray-Ban Wayfarer E's. And the main difference between these and an original Ray-Ban Wayfarer is going to be the fact that these sit flat on the face rather than curving into the cheeks. So we'll pop these sunglasses on face and we're also going to talk about the dimensions. These sunglasses have 50 millimeter lenses and they also have a 20 millimeter bridge. And like I said, these sunglasses are basically a pair of Ray-Ban original wafers, yet they are the ease version and that means that they're going to sit flatter on the face. So as you guys can see here, they're going to sit nice and flat and they're not going to curve in like the original Ray-Ban Wayfair are going to. And because of that, these are going to remind me more of a new Wayfair style of sunglasses, yet they preserve that traditional Wayfair styling. So sunglasses are going to, of course, have a painted Ray-Ban logo here in the top corner of the sunglasses. They're also going to have these metal accents here, which are going to be found in all Ray-Ban original Wayfair sunglasses. They're also going to have a raised Ray-Ban logo here in the outside temple of the sunglasses that's going to be there on all original Ray-Ban Wayfair sunglasses. Of course, these sunglasses have all metal hinges, which feel very nice when opening up and when closing them. And these sunglasses are also going to say Wayfair, handmade in Italy. And they're going to stay here in the inner right temple of the sunglasses. They're also going to have an RB logo etched in the middle left of the lens. And of course, it's going to be there for authentication purposes. Now, as far as coverage from the sun goes, these sunglasses are probably going to offer a little bit worse coverage than the original Ray-Ban and wayfarers and again that's because they sit flat in the face so as you guys can see here there is going to be a gap to its sunlight in unprotected and it's not going to be the biggest gap ever so it's not going to be a big deal they still do offer pretty good coverage from the sun and as far as coverage up top there's actually going to be uh, probably about the same gap as it is on the original Ray-Ban Wayfair. One of the downsides of these Ray-Ban Wayfair E's is the fact that these actually remind a lot of people of a fake Ray-Ban Wayfair. A lot of fake Ray-Ban Wayfarers have very flat lenses rather than having that traditional curve in to the cheeks and because of that some people might think that you're wearing a fake pair of sunglasses when you're not. Overall, I think these sunglasses are really great. I love the look. I just think they look really, really good on face. They look like the original Wayfair if it was a little bit more modernized, but yet they still have the exact same styling as far as all the elements and all the curves. They're just not going to have that bend in, which is going to be a little bit more retro and not quite as modern. I'm really surprised that Ray-Ban isn't really pushing these frames in their stores, having them side by side to the original Ray-Ban Wayfairs, but it seems like Ray-Ban isn't paying too much attention to these sunglasses as far as their marketing goes when I really think this is the exact direction that Ray-Ban is going to want to go and this is just an absolutely fantastic look for 2019. As far as pricing and availability goes, these sunglasses are available on Ray-Ban's website for around $150 but I've seen these on Amazon for around $125 so I'll leave a link in the description below where you guys can check these sunglasses out on Amazon if you're interested in picking up this pair. But that's all I got for you guys in this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up down below and of course make sure to hit subscribe button you don't want to miss any new videos that are released to this YouTube channel. We got a lot of videos coming for 2019. You guys definitely would want to be subscribed to the channel so you don't miss any. But that's all I got for you guys in this video. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.